The city of Boston is home to some of the best hospitals in the nation. Families from all around the world come here in search of medical help. But Boston also has one of the highest costs of living. Everyone here knows that. Families that come seeking medical help sometimes spend their entire life savings on medical bills and can't afford housing while here. Well, in an attempt to ease the financial struggles, Hospitality Homes provides a compassionate, no-cost solution. To offer more insight on this much-needed program, we've invited Hospitality Homes Outreach Coordinator Denise Duclo, as well as Anne and Richard Tonichel of Cambridge, who have been Hospitality Homes volunteer hosts since 1998. Welcome to Urban Update, and thanks for coming in. Thank you, uh, Denise, uh, let me start with you. Um, seems like a very um, unique and uh, really a much-needed uh, hospital housing program. How exactly does hospital hospitality homes work? Well, we are a nonprofit organization that provides free short-term housing for families and patients that come to Boston for medical care in the private homes of volunteer hosts. And it's a unique organization because we work with um, many different hospitals in Boston, over 32. And um, we basically accept applications from families and patients um, that come from any part of the world in the United States, that come to any facility treatment, and that uh, have that uh, patients of any age in diagnosis. Now, can you tell me a little about the woman who, uh, who started it all, Doris, back in 1983? Well, Doris um, came from California to Boston seeking treatment for her little 18-month-old um, baby girl. And um, she inspired a group of social workers and residents in Boston because she was sleeping basically in um, empty rooms, in closets, in waiting rooms and they said there is something to do here we can change these and that is um, how hospitality home started she was the first guest mm -hmm. wow well uh, dick and ann tanisho uh you've been host since 1998 uh, dick tell me a little bit about your experience well when ann mentioned it uh she she knew about hospitality homes <clears throat> and she she told she just talked about how simple it was, and I didn't know what we were getting into, but I said, all right, let's, let's try it. We have a, we have a spare bedroom, and uh, let, let's give it a try. And the experience has been, is, well, number one, it's very comfortable. Uh, there isn't much that we have to do except provide a, a bedroom and, a, and access to a clean bathroom and uh, be comfortable in our own homes and welcome people who come in. And uh, I am not an outgoing person, but I found that easy to do because you're in your own home and it's comfortable and uh, mm -hmm. I hear that uh, lifelong bonds are often formed between the hosts and their the families uh, can you tell me a little bit about that that's true um, every year around Christmas time we get cards from many of the families that we've hosted over the years and um, then we've had one family that were with us for some time they came from Uruguay the mom and dad and several children, but Manuela was the uh, person who was being seen for an eye condition. And their trip lasted longer than they thought because of complications, and we've kept in touch with them with Skype and uh, letters. And then recently, now 16 years later, the mom and dad were celebrating their 25th anniversary. And oh, they, this, I believe this is their picture, not to interrupt. Uh, that's right. right. That's, 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 uh, they right. came for their 25th anniversary just this past fall uh, to spend it with us. So that was just a very lovely thing. And, and that's one family. Uh, Denise, I know the organization's mission is uh, something that's very close to you. Uh, could you tell me, uh, I guess, what caused you to completely change your career path and uh, go out, strike out in this direction? Yes, well, it was um, one of my daughters. Um, I had twin girls, and one of my daughters was born with cardiac heart disease. And we were one of those families that needed to travel um, because um, basically we were out of options, and we, we came to Boston in search for hope and for the best medical treatment. And she taught me that there was an entire world out there um, that was very unknown to me. 
and um, I decided that I wanted to help families and inspire families the way that she inspired me. Uh, Ann and Frank, I, or Ann and Dick, excuse me, I, I understand that uh, this program has saved about $1.4 million uh, in estimated hotel fees in the last two years alone. That must make you feel pretty good that you're uh, doing, able to do that for someone. Well, it does. I mean, that's, that's one thing that happens. But the bigger thing that happens is people's hearts just grow. Um, and we had our own experience with a medical crisis a few years ago, and when that happened, it really came home to us how important it was to provide a home atmosphere for people. And Denise, I guess, how can viewers uh, get involved if they're interested? I imagine you always need more host families. We always need more host families. Our list is never ending. We have more um, people that need housing. They can contact um, us by phone or they can um, come to our website at hosp.org. Okay, all right. And finally, I guess, uh, uh, Dick and Ann, I guess um, for someone who's sitting out there saying, gosh, I don't know if I'd want to do that. I don't want to know if I want to open my house up to a stranger's. Uh, what would you say to them? Well, number one, the staff makes it very easy. The people at hospitality homes do the screening and they do the scheduling and you, you are perfectly um, uh, free to choose or not to choose any particular visitor. And uh, they are strangers to us, but we're strangers to them. And uh, it, it it's a trusting relationship. And just, uh, we have to go here, but just uh, how many have you had over the years since 1998? Approximately? Oh, a hundred. A hundred, really? Yeah, Something hundred. like that. And the, the, how long have they stayed at your house? Some of them? Some of them one night and one family one year. Wow. <laughs> and uh, you wouldn't change it at all? Oh, no. no, not at all. Okay. Well, uh, Dick and Ann Tadishell and uh, Denise uh, Duclo, thanks for coming in. Good luck with getting some more host families. Thank and you. congratulations on uh, what you've been doing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, when we come back, author Juliet Mayers joins us for a refresher course on networking for black women right here on Urban Update. Stay with us.